everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very sort of quick holiday type appropriate makeup and I'm basing it off what I wore on my birthday which was yesterday or the 8th um, and I wanted to do something for the sort of holiday season because there's a lot of holiday parties some which you might have already gone to if you've got some left then this could be a video with a very simple and easy makeup that isn't too difficult to do. Um, I'm going to start off with my foundation and I'm using my Bobbi Brown foundation stick in the shade Alabaster, which is the lightest one. And I am just going to apply this to my face and blend it out with a sponge because that's the way I find that it works the best. When that is blended in, I do tend to go over with a second layer on certain areas of my face where I do want a bit more coverage before I go in with concealer. Now I'm going to be taking my concealer, and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair. And I'm going to apply this both underneath my eyes and on any blemishes or parts of my face that I think are still peeing through a bit too much for my liking. I do think this foundation, when I've built it up a second time, has a decent amount of coverage to it. But some days... I just want a little bit extra and how much of anything you apply is um, up to you and you don't have to use any of the products I use, you can use your favourite foundation and concealer, anything like that and go about it your way, I'm just using what I have and what I like and what works for me because everyone has different skin types so not everything works for everybody. And I'm again just taking the sponge and pressing that into the skin. I will then be baking the area underneath my eyes and also a bit on my chin and nose using my Kix Translucent Loose Powder and I'm just going to get some of that. I pour it into the cap. And For my under eye area I do take my finger first and sort of press the concealer in a bit because I do have lines underneath my eyes where foundation tends to crease anyway but to avoid it being super super noticeable I just take my finger and just gently press around the area first then I will dip my sponge into the powder and just press that over the top I'm just going to dab what remains in the cap onto my nose I will also just be setting the rest of my face whilst I'm at it with my Rimmel Clear Complexion um, powder in the shade Transparent, which is 021, using a big dense blush, blush brush from Real Techniques and I'm just going to press this powder over my skin to set the foundation because this is a very dewy finish foundation that doesn't really set on my skin so I have to sort of do it for it. Next up I will be doing my eyebrows using my super tiny Shiseido, Shiseido eyebrow pencil and my L'Oreal Stylus Plump Brow Gel I think it's called and I'm just going to 
lightly fill them in and define them to make them look even but not super super harsh so to speak keeping them a little bit normal I am then going to prime my eyes using my e.l.f. primer. Oh gosh, what's happening here? And I'm just going to put that on my eyelid, on both eyes, and I just blend this out with my finger. And for my lid shade, and also sort of my all over the eye everything kind of shade, I'm using a shade from number 7, and this is called Wheat Sheaf, I believe their Stay Perfect eyeshadow and it's a gorgeous sort of taupey beige with a bit of shimmer to it and I think it's very nice and natural looking to sort of help open the eyes up a bit without being too over the top. And I also take a bit of this on my brow bone because it's a really nice sort of subtle highlight. And I'm also going to take this in my inner corner. It doesn't show up too much on camera probably, but it's just a nice sort of subtle, not super sparkly or shimmery shadow, but it's just nice and sort of brightening in a way. For my crease shade and the sort of contrast shade to this, I'm going to use this one from my Sonia Kashuk palette. Um, and this is the warmest brown in the palette and I think it is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm using a smaller brush to begin with because I just want to place the colour first and then I'm going to work with blending it out later. And I'm just placing this in the crease. And also sort of blending it a little bit down onto the lid there but not too much because I want to keep the lid as clean as possible. And I'm also pressing that onto the outer corner of my eye because I'm not doing any form of liner today. If you want to, you can, but I'm not doing it because I'm not very good at it. And I find that I like I like this just the way that looks on its own. And I'm also going to take this underneath my eye and pretty much just blend it all the way in. And then when that's done and it's the entire, entire, uh, the side eye intensity, I get a big sort of dense brush. This is from Real Techniques. It's their deluxe crease brush, and I'm just going to softly blend the edges so that they aren't super super harsh. And I have two different ways in which I tend to blend eyeshadow. One is with this brush, if I want to very quickly sort of diffuse the edges. But there are some shadows that are a bit tricky to blend sometimes. They don't always want to listen to you. And in that case, I tend to get a bit of a fluffier brush, which is... This is the base shadow brush. And I tend to use this instead, because this does... This also works for applying the colour, because it kind of applies and blends at the same time. And I just work this a bit back and forth, until it is blended the way I want to. I'm going to put a bit more colour on the outer part of my eye, bring it a bit further in just because I think that looks nice so sorry if it's getting really dark and my background is really orange um, but I'm going to highlight my eyes using the Sonia Kashuk palette and taking the white shade on a small brush and I'm going to start by taking a little bit of this onto my brow bone nothing too much
I'm going to use something that has a bit more glitter to it. I'm using my Isadora Eyeshadow Quartet in Sunkissed. And I'm going to take this shade on the top there, which is nice and sort of champagne-y. And really super nice and sparkly. I'm just going to put that in my inner corner. I am then going to apply my mascara and I'm going to use my Tarte Lights Camera Splashes Mascara. And I've been really been loving this recently. I'm just going to curl my lashes first. I am then going to move back to the face and for my birthday I actually got this kit from my sister which has this Adora face form or face sculptor in the shade nude which has a contour bronzer and a highlighter as well as a brush and I did use this for the first time yesterday and I was really pleased with it so I am going to use the brush and take a little bit of the contour shade and use that as my contour And I used this yesterday and I was pretty surprised with the fact that how pigmented it was because I'm literally dipping my brush in it like twice and then gently sweeping that into the hollows of my cheeks. I am then going to take the bronzer shade which is the one up top there on the same brush and I'm going to use that um, to warm up the rest of my face so around the hairline. And I'm also going to take this sort of over the top a bit, a little bit further up of the um, contour to warm it up a little bit. Then for my highlighter I have to pull in a different one because I want a bit of shimmer today. I'm using the Isadora Face Sculptor again and this is in the shade Warm Peach and I'm going to take the highlighter on a setting brush and just get a bit of glow on my cheekbone. And I also take a tiny bit down the bridge of my nose. For blush, I'm going to use the same shade that was in the highlighting palette and on a contour brush. On a, on a contour brush, not am contour brush. I'm just going to lightly dust a little bit of pink onto my cheeks. Now, for my lips yesterday, I wore a red lipstick, but I wanted to do something a bit more nude today because I find that this eye look, I don't know, I kind of, it works with everything, but I wanted to go for a nude lip today, so I'm going to use my Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in the shade Lust, which is more of a neutral shade than a nude, but I wanted something that was a bit more natural than red. And the makeup is basically done. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and I hope you enjoyed the look. Um, please leave in the comments below anything you want me to do for 2017 since the new year is coming up very, very close. And I need ideas for things to do. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if the video got a bit dark again. But I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. And look at the fairy lights and the Christmas tree. I put up the Christmas tree a couple of days ago and I'm so happy with it. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!